Hello again, this is Extreme Darien still. Uh, welcome to the second part of this 3D rotation tutorial, though I realize you haven't seen very much 3D rotation yet, but we'll get to it. Um, first thing I want to mention, I completely forgot to um, tell you how to rename la layers. It's very simple. You click on the layer, press enter, type in the name. And that's good, because we need to rename this layer. So um, I'm going to rename this front of stage. Now, uh, we're just going to be finishing off our stage here, hopefully. So I'm going to go Control D again, duplicate that layer, uh, rename it. Sometimes I have to click off of it first and then click it, hit enter. Um, I'm going to name this stage. Um, actually, we're going to rename this um, concrete back because it gets a little ambiguous um, which is the back with um, the names with the stage. Um, so I'm going to try to go with a concrete um, look for the back of the stage. So. That name will work. And uh, Z, Alt, left click, zoom out. Not entirely sure how clear I made that last time, but anyway. Uh, whoa, don't want to do that. We have to move our concrete back. So it lines up the back of the stage. Doesn't have to, doesn't have to be very accurate at all, because it's uh, if it just um, clips through it. There. That's fine. Um, and uh, if the camera isn't moving fast enough for your taste, hold down shift. Move a lot faster. That trick works for a few things. Um, as well as sometimes moving layers. Hold down shift. This layer will move a lot quicker. But doesn't always work. I don't know why. But anyway. Um, move that out a little bit. And uh, as long as we're at it, uh, you know, the original video had no back wall. It's because I was originally intending it to be used more as a stage that you wouldn't really be seeing the, uh, the, uh, back of it all that much. But then I decided to make that, um, that, um, 3D rotation video that's, uh, what we're doing now. So, uh, this time I'm going to give this stage a back wall. It's crazy. Uh, okay, well, this doesn't have to be quite so big. Okay, this is about like that. And, uh, yeah. Now, What's nice about using um, all the same um, textures for the same things is that you don't have to keep making it a, keep clicking 3D layer, keep changing it to gold so you can see it. Um, and uh, yeah, you don't have to keep doing all that stuff, which isn't a big deal, but um, just keep in mind if you do decide to use different textures for your front and back of whatever room you're building, and I encourage you to use different textures. You know, go crazy, use whatever you want. The weirder, the better. Um, uh, yeah, just remember to change it to gold so you can see it, unless you can see it in there. Um, and uh, the 3D layer, and yeah. Now we're going to say um, back of room or something. It's confusing. Naming. It's never my strong suit. Okay. Now we're going to make the sidewalls. So we're just going to duplicate this again. Uh, well, just no. Yeah, that's what happens if you if you duplicate it and hit enter immediately. It will. Um, 
open up that thing, which isn't what you want. You just want to rename it, so you have to click off, click back on. I don't know why, but that's the way they make you do it. So, uh, wall, uh, let's see, left. So, move it out and get a rotate tool again. Uh, still needs to, no, not that axis. Y axis. Rotating in Y. Hold down Shift. Snap. And, uh, just to give us a better view of it so we won't get confused, but what we really want to do is go in here to transform and anchor point. And we want to move the anchor point, which is this thing. It's where the, um, the navigator, um, is located. So, if we pull its um, X, forgot to mention this too, if you just left click on this, pull it left and right, it'll change any of these numerical values virtually anywhere. Completely forgot to mention that last time. So um, just want to put it so the, um, this little, this little thing in the jig is right on the edge and you'll see why. But also, if you actually want to animate um, the rotation of um, layers like this, which is a good idea because you get a lot of really good effects doing that, um, you'll probably want to change the anchor point. So yeah, that's how it works. And remove this so it's right up here. Uh, swivel around so you can see what's happening. And if you'll remember in my original video, the uh, walls slant off the stage. Like, um, like this. Not like that. Ugh, I'm confident. Like this. And since we moved that um, anchor point, now we can... Uh, slant it easily from the position it's in. And uh, can also um, unclick, didn't mention this either, unclick this little chain link and you can alter the scale without preserving the aspect ratio. You might want to preserve the aspect ratio, but right now I don't. And uh, based on what I'm saying here, I'm actually going to need to scale up our floor, which is fine. Yeah, not a big deal. Not too much pain involved with that. And uh, also need to scale up our um, back of the... Yeah, see what I mean? That only sometimes works. Anyway. Uh, let's get... Scale in X. So now... The dimensions are a little different because I can't do anything consistently, um, but still works. So, and uh, I make a copy of wall, 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 walls, um, wall left, wall right, because we could name it wall left two, which was what I was considering briefly, but that would be incredibly stupid. So, we'll do that. Not yet, anyway. So, orientation. Do, 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 do. And it's perfect. Okay. So, this is the um, almost completed stage. Um, you'll see there's a gap back here. We're, uh, we're going to extend into a real um, stage back. There's not going to be anything there, but you know. So um, I'm almost out of time, so I will see you in the next segment. I wonder how many segments there are going to be. Ugh.